Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Political Roundtable. I'm Doug Miles, along with uh, Gary Schuster, former uh, White House correspondent for CBS News and Washington Bureau Chief for the Detroit News. And uh, Gary, a lot has happened since uh, we last did this uh, sure about a month has. ago. Sure has, Doug. We've uh, we've moved along um, uh, at a pretty good pace, I think. Uh, the uh, the president elect has his cabinet almost in place, except for Bill Richardson, who backed out because of a uh, legal issue uh, in Arizona. And uh, we also have uh, a couple of vacancies, um, you know, in some agency uh, places that uh, he's going to fill shortly. But uh, he's even gotten so far as to put uh, Sanjay Gupta, the doctor from CNN, right, probably going to be the Surgeon General. So he, he's got the spectrum of, uh, of uh, the ethnicity um, with everybody, sort of the cabinet's full of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real racial mix. And um, ideologically, I think it's more center than left. Uh, which has given him some problems from the left, but uh, he'll have to manage that, I think, and he'll probably do better with Congress because of the way that uh, that uh, cabinet is set up. He mentioned that, and uh, as we taped this yesterday, Leon Panetta named uh, the nominee for CIA director, and a lot of people, a lot of conjectures, the left was saying, don't go any for anybody that was in the Bush administration. So uh, what was left was uh, some people maybe that were not the best choice. What do you think about well, Panetta? You, well, you know what? I, I, when I was in Washington, Panetta was there as a congressman, and uh, he later went into the, the, the Clinton County Chief of Staff and the Budget Director. He's a very good administrator, I will say that. Um, and he was uh, quite involved in the uh, intelligence community development, and uh, so I think he's going to be okay. Uh, my guess is he'll be, a, I'm sure he'll be approved because he's a member of that club up on the hill. Right. And so uh, I think Leon will, will, will get the job. It's not the top job. Uh, you know, it's not National uh, Intelligence Director. It's the CIA. It's, a, it's one of the, um, uh, the group that's one in the, the umbrella. But um, I think Leon Panetta will surprise a lot of people. I, I look forward to him being a good CIA director because of his management skills. How much is that going to be a factor, though, that uh, he's not been in the agency before, that type of work. Of course, we're dealing now with well, the terrorism issue. Do you want somebody in there with that experience, or, uh, or is that going to matter? You know who I want in that, in that job? I want somebody like Panetta, who's a manager. I want somebody who takes brings a fresh eye to it, mm -hmm. not one of the club, not one of the CIA uh, operatives who's been in there 25, 30 years. Um, I want somebody who doesn't know where the bodies are buried, but knows how to find them. Mm -hmm. And that's what Panetta's going to bring you, I think. You mentioned Bill Richardson before, kind of a surprise that uh, he pulled his name out because of some allegations of, uh, I guess, what, uh, donations, perhaps getting favoritism for contracts well, it, in, in New Mexico. Uh, were you surprised at that? Um, I was surprised that it got this far without anybody knowing. He's, I mean, they've been looking at him for a while, and for him to have gotten this far in the, in the process where the FBI uh, went to uh, people in Arizona and we're told that, hey, you better take a closer look at Richardson because he's got these things hanging over his head. I'm surprised it got this far. Uh, I thought that they would have known that long ago because it was there. And for them to, to bring it down the line to approaching the point where you sort of offer it up to the Senate for, uh, for hearings, um, I thought was a little um, careless on the, on the Obama administration uh, for them, for the transition team, not to have been on this thing earlier. Especially since he had that long questionnaire, remember when they were oh, uh, sure. having I mean, everybody fill out this 10, 15 page, whatever it was, questionnaire. Yeah. Everybody you've ever met in your life practically had to be written down on and this guy, this and, and this guy was a candidate for president. Yeah. He, he, was, he was running for president um, and uh, never did it come up. So for, for some reason or other, there are some who speculate the Clintons because of because Richardson uh, adored, endorsed Obama, Obama over over Hillary, that the Clintons may have deep sixed him, something. deep sixed him on this, <laughs> uh, because she didn't want him around, having been a UN uh, secretary and uh, you know UN ambassador uh, in the Clinton administration and a former cabinet member. She just soon not have him around mm -hmm. for his quote unquote expertise yeah. on any any number of subjects for him. Um, who knows what happened, but nonetheless, he's gone. And probably won't see him in any cabinet position. Uh, I would doubt it. I would doubt it. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, inauguration coming up. As we tape this, it's about two weeks away. I know mm -hmm. you've covered 
uh, many inauguration going back to Carter and Reagan. Uh, just give it a, a kind of an atmosphere of what it's like to be there and, and your, your perspective of it. Well, you are outside on the front lawn of the uh, Capitol, and uh, depending on the weather, uh, the one, the, uh, the, the 19... Uh, 84 Reagan inaugural was canceled because it was below Terrible zero. Weather, they, yeah. Uh, it was below zero, so cold you couldn't even you couldn't go outside. It was really very bad. But um, the other ones that I'd been at were, uh, um, you know, such that uh, I think uh, people are going to uh, see that there's going to be a big crowd. They're expecting over a million, maybe as many as two million, which will be the largest ever. You're going to see, um, uh, you know, a, a, a probably well-funded. It's probably the best funded inaugural, they say, that uh, has ever been ever been held, mm -hmm. uh, with contributions from a lot of single donors. But people can give up to fifty thousand um, dollars, and some have, uh, some of the entertainment community has, and um, and others and companies have. And so you're going to see a well fu well funded, I think, uh, 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 very interesting uh, uh, inauguration. Uh, the speech. Uh, He's been working on it his, himself with a speechwriter, but he basically writes these big speeches himself, mm -hmm. and then asks somebody to polish them. So you're going to see uh, you're going to see that, and you're going to see, I think, um, uh, you know, basically a uh, a remarkable inauguration in that it's going to be so large and goes on for quite a while. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a full almost two days of the parades. You're going to have the introduction of a new presidential limo that has eight inch thick doors that he's going to ride in from the Capitol down to the White House. So you're going to see a lot of things that you haven't seen before. Peter's going to see how this speech compares to the one, remember what he made in, I uh, guess was that, outdoor stadium. Right, out at, uh, at Grant Park in, in, in Chicago, Chicago on the, on the, on, and, and on the acceptance. And the convention, too. And the convention as well. well they mm -hmm. had the Roman columns and all that, very theatrical. Right. I'm sure this will be similar to Well, this will be theatrical, but it, again, it's on, a, it's on a stage that's built outside the outside the Capitol. So they can't be a too elaborate, it's, you know, it's not a football stadium and it's not a Roman Coliseum. It is what it is, you know. Uh, hopefully you'll have good weather, it won't be raining, it won't be snowing. It could be any of those things in Washington, as you know. And so uh, it, uh, uh, it'll, it'll, get a, it'll get a lot of attention. It'll get a lot but of the inaugural attention. balls, I know you probably covered some of those. I know the president well, tries to uh, he tries to get to all of them. Each of them, right? Tries to get to all of them. Um, you know, there are as many as eight, and uh, you know, or as few as eight, and maybe as many as a dozen. Mm -hmm. um, all the hotels around Washington, uh, the big hotels, and some of the big um, uh, buildings, like the National Building Museum and some others, host those uh, those balls. Each one has a band, and. Um, yeah, they try and get to each one, dance a couple, a couple dances, and then move on, and get back to the White House. It's been a long day for them, uh, but uh, uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a full full day because they go to the reviewing stand after the swearing in. They go to the reviewing stand, which is in front of the White House. The parade goes parade. by with all the bands and horses and elephants and everything else, and then they go inside, have some to eat, and then head out for the uh, change and head out for the uh, the formal the formal balls. So it's a full, you know, it's a full day. And then the next day is welcome to the, the world of being president. Uh, you got to realize the, the job ahead. And yeah, that's he, right. He has a lot yeah. coming up. Party's over. Yeah. Party's over. And so we, uh, we have to, uh, you know, get in and start doing work. A little controversy, obviously, uh, since we uh, were last uh, on with you. The uh, Blagojevich situation, the governor of Illinois, uh, going through some uh, uh, legal problems. Who knows whether uh, he will be... Uh, indicted or thrown out of office, but in the meantime, he's appointed new senator, Roland Burris, and he had a little trouble getting in yesterday uh, to the Senate, didn't he? He did have trouble, but uh, there seems to be a change of mind and heart on Capitol Hill where I think he's probably going to be seated. Uh, cooler heads have prevailed. They said uh, initially that uh, they weren't going to let him in because the Secretary of State, Jesse White in Illinois, had not signed the, uh, the appointment, right. and uh, without that it wasn't legitimate. Uh, turns out, as uh, as as the Senate the Senate runs itself, and the Senate has its own rules, yeah, and own the rules. Senate has control of who it seats. If you had the Secretary of State of every state deciding who was going to be put in to a, a vacant seat in the U.S. Senate, and the, each Secretary of State had to sign off, you're telling you're telling the country that the Secretary of State basically have seating power for the U.S. Senate. Mm -hmm. Well, the Senate's not going to stand for that, and so I think Roland Burris will probably be seated this week. Uh, and maybe even Al Franken will be seated this yeah. week. You just don't know, but that's, that's another seat that's up for